Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday, August 17th, 2017. And this is a quick video for Anthony Riley in preparation for the solar eclipse, which is on August 21st, which will be seen across the uh, middle of the US. will also be seen as a partial solar eclipse from other locations. Anthony Riley is hoping to film the sun from Hollyhead, UK. So this video shows the starry night simulation for what we should expect to see from Hollyhead, UK at that time. So I've got a wide angle view as you can see here. I've got the scenery which I'm going to hide. I'm also going to hide the daylight to make it easier to see and I'm going to zoom in. So first of all, let's uh, get the set up and I'm going to hide the horizon. And you can see that there is a horizon line there that horizontal line. I'm also going to hide the daylight to make it darker and uh, now I'm going to zoom in on the sun. You can see the position of the moon down here. Now it's important to remember that this is um, fairly close to uh, sunset. So I'm going to step this forward uh, one minute at a time and uh, let's see when we make first contact. So you can see the moon moving in there from the bottom right. And it looks to me like we make first contact around about 7.39 p.m. 7.39 and 30 seconds p.m. And let's step this forward. So we can see that there is just a very small bite taken out of the bottom of the sun as seen from Hollyhead. That looks to me like it's about the maximum eclipse there. That is what we should expect to see in Anthony Riley's images of the sun if he has a clear view of the sky of course. And given that the sun is going to be very low on the horizon uh, it might be difficult due to cloud and haze. Let's zoom out and see how far above the horizon we are. So there is the horizon line. You can see the altitude of the sun over here. The sun is only 4.3 degrees above the horizon at this time. So it is, it's very low. So good luck Anthony. I hope that you do have success in filming the partial solar eclipse from Hollyhead. And uh, this is what we should expect to see. I'll just progress this on. In fact I'll back it out a little bit just so we can see that horizon line coming up. So the sun is getting lower of course but I've got the, the sun centered in the middle of the image. So it's the ground that's coming up in this view rather than the sun coming down. So you can see the horizon line at the bottom there is, is just coming up. So this is sunset approaching. Now I haven't set any elevation for this. I'm assuming that uh, Anthony is very close to sea level when he films this. So you can see that the moon is uh, partially below the horizon line there. And uh, now we have the sunset. So by that time the partial solar eclipse is finished anyway. It's um, finishing just as the horizon line comes up. So the real point is that at maximum eclipse we should be seeing this from Hollyhead according to Starry Night. Oh, by the way, here are the latitude and longitude settings that I've used for Hollyhead, just in case there's any question about that later. Thank you for watching.